On Saturday in downtown DC, take a look at this. Hundreds and hundreds of Republicans and the walk away movement campaign all came together and led a big march to encourage people to leave the Democratic Party. In the afternoon, they had motorcyclists from across the country. They all gathered on the Capitol to spread a message. The motorcyclists and the marchers and the walkaway folks all want to make it very clear they love America. The movement spurred by the many lies and disinformation that have been put out about Trump supporters and our president. Walkaway founder Brandon Starkey, you see him right there, said that we want people to see that we are every slice of America. We are gay, straight, transgender, black, white, and brown, all marching together, loving one another and loving this country, loving our president, and we want people to see we are not who they say we are. You betcha. Stark mentioned that his campaign is a movement of people who have left the Democrat Party and have joined the Republican Party. Also, someone who was there, my next guest, heck of a guy, Lorenzo Lama, actor, used to be a model, still could be. Look at this guy. I can't even get on screen with him. Look what a good-looking, handsome man this is. Lorenzo, thanks for joining Real America. How are you, sir? Thank you, Dan. What an introduction. Wow, I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm humbled. So you were there. You and I chatted uh, over the weekend. We were messaging and texting, and a lot of other conservative actors who have come out of the Hollywood closet and said, I'm a conservative. They were there. Some of you and I's mutual friends talked to us, set the scene. We got some video we can roll, but it looked like it was an amazing event, and it was all about just spreading love and unity, something that the left and the mainstream media say that we're nothing about, and they're totally wrong. Well, I agree. The whole idea is that I feel that you know President Trump is the most inclusive president in in our history. I mean, uh, he's done more for minorities, more for uh, black working Americans, Latino working Americans than anybody's ever done. And in a very, very short, historically short period of time. And to hear the kind of rhetoric that's coming from many on the left saying that he's a racist, that, you know, that he, he supports the KKK. It's absurd. It's hurtful. And it's absolutely false. Uh, and that's just a one example of this hateful rhetoric that's coming from certain people on the left. I'm not talking about all the Democrats, because I have friends, being that I've worked in Hollywood for many years, that are Democrats. We can sit down, we can talk to each other, we have we can have a dialogue mm -hmm. that's constructive, even though we may differ in opinions. But there's many Democrats now, progressive Democrats, that if you differ from their liberal ideology, you're, uh, you're, you're ostracized, you're, you're canceled, you are shut out. You are made to be a fool. And uh, that's that's just not the that's not a legitimate way to have a nation of people that are supposed to care for one another. And that's why I joined the walkaway movement. Yes, uh, most of the people that are in the movement, the walkaway movement, of course, want to reelect President Trump because he's the most fair minded uh, individual running for president. I mean, I mean, he's done so much, as I mentioned before. So, yes, we all want uh, uh, a re-election for our great president. Um, but it's really not about him, as it's much about the idea that if you have a differing opinion, you shouldn't be canceled. Yeah. You shouldn't have people, you know, prevent you from working, prevent you from going to work, prevent you from going to church, prevent you from, from living your life as, as, as a freedom-loving American. Yeah, and that's what some, and I'm glad you pointed that out, Lorenzo, some on the left have done. I agree with you. I've been in media for 20-some years. I have a lot of friends on the left. Typically, we can have civil discourse, have that discussion, and then at the end, my favorite phrase always is, let's agree to disagree, because a lot of times we will not agree on the president, mainly, even on some of the conservative values. But I'm so thankful that there are folks out there in the gay community, in the minority community, in the Hollywood community like yourself, who are coming out and saying, look, this is not who conservatives and Republicans are. We don't trash all you Democrats and think that you're all these crazy Antifa kids in the streets burning down cities and beating on people. We know that you're good, patriotic, loving Americans. We just disagree on a few things. And I just, exactly. Ugh. And I'm so glad that you it, went it, to that. I wish I could have went to D.C. with you, but we were working. <laughs> well, of course, you're doing a fantastic job, Dan, with what you do. Thank so you, we all have to that. take part. We all have to be unsilent you know the silent majority has to begin to to speak up we only have well we have less we have a month to go so it's very very important this is an incredibly important election probably the most important election in my lifetime and uh, we have to stop this marginalization 
of people that have differing points of view. Yeah, that's not America. Exactly. Lorenzo Lama, they're giving me the hard rap. Thank you so much, man. I know you got choppers to fly. I see it behind you there. Stay safe in the skies. Uh, stay proud. All right. We, we love that you're out there being outspoken and we'll have you back on the show real soon. Lorenzo Lama, folks. Thanks, Thank you much, sir. All right, don't go away. Straight ahead. She's the daughter of a very outspoken conservative filmmaker. You might know him, Dinesh D'Souza. She now is the author of a brand new book about the abortion divide in America. Danielle D'Souza joins Real America. Don't go away.